Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about taking, editing and posting before and after pictures. This is how I do it. So these are the pictures we're going to be working with today. Uh, I've got my before and obviously my after. Um, they don't look very impressive, but we're going to try and fix that. So just about the shooting process. The first thing that I make sure I do is I'm shooting in portrait mode. Um, no one is viewing photos in landscape mode, uh, unlike social media, Facebook and stuff. Um, so I always make sure I shoot in portrait. When you're viewing it, it's taken up more of the screen on social media. So the next thing is I'm going to switch to my camera app. I always use the wide angle lens. So at the moment I'm on the stand standard camera. If I switch to 0.6, it zooms everything out and you can get more into the shot. So this is very important. Y your natural instinct is to turn the phone to get more of the driveway or more of the patio in. Um, but the better thing to do, in my opinion, if, you, if you're if you set on shooting in portrait mode, is to just zoom out to, to 0.6 and use the wide angle lens. Um, most Android or uh, Apple phones can do this, no problem. Uh, the next thing I'm, I'm gonna do is try and make sure I frame the both the pictures very similarly so you can see at the top of the picture here I'm just cutting I'm just using the roof line as a guide for both pictures um, and I try and stand in the same spot so try and sort of line the top of the frame up with maybe like a windowsill or or the roof or try and do it as perfect as possible for both both pictures it's just gonna make it look so much better so the other thing uh, I wouldn't I try and avoid taking the photo in like extreme sunlight because it can really um, it can really mess up the photo. So I'll try and give you an example here. I had to do one the other day just because I was in a rush. I didn't I didn't want to uh, hang around, but you can see this before and after um, the, the lights come over. There's obviously nothing you can do about it, but it's just, uh, it, it doesn't make for, the picture just doesn't look as good when, when the sun's shining directly on it. But again, there's not a lot you can do about that. So back to our before and afters. Um, you might be tempted just to edit the after picture to look that, to to make that look more impressive, um, but I do I do both. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my before. Um, I'm just using the Google Pixel standard editing app on here. You've probably got one similar on your phone. Uh, I'm going to go across to um, saturation and I'm going to bump up the saturation, uh, maybe about 30, just whatever looks good at the time on the picture. Um, I'm focusing on all the green foliage around the sides because people can really tell um, when the photo has been heavily edited by looking at the green and also looking at the bricks on the houses. So I think um, around about, I'm going to do about 30. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that it doesn't look out of place when you put the after picture next to it, when you've bumped up the saturation on the after picture um, because you want to make the bricks look more intense and vibrant. Um, they're going to compare it to the old one and think, oh, the bushes look totally different on that one. So um, that's the only reason I'm doing it on this one. I'm then going to go across to pop and I'm going to increase the pop. And you can see, see how dirty it makes that driveway look. Um, you obviously don't want to do it too extreme, but you can play around with this. Um, so I'm going to put the pop up to around about 35. You can really see all the black spots. It just looks a lot grittier and grimier. So that's all I do for the before picture. I'm going to save that one. And then we're going to go across to the after picture. And this is where we're going to start to see a huge difference. So again, we'll go across to adjust. And we're going to bump up the saturation on this one. Um, maybe a little bit more. Go from 30 to about 40. So the bricks are really coming out. The... Um, the bushes don't look dissimilar to the last picture, so that's not going to stand out too much. And I'm just going to hold it down. You can see before, after, before, after. Um, sometimes I'll increase the warmth just to make it, just to make the whole picture look a bit more appealing. Um, and occasionally I'll up the brightness just to make it look a bit more impressive. It's if it if it's been taken in sort of lower light, um, but I don't need to do that on this one. I'm going to keep the brightness where it is. And that's it. I'm going to save that one. You can also do this in an app called InShot. This is one that I used to use. Um, it's great for collages as well, so you can click on multiple images. Um, you can change the layout of them. This is a really good app. I've recommended this before. Change the border size. And also what you want to do in this app 
is change the is change the canvas and make it something more like three by four just so that it takes up more of the screen um, and then you can click on each picture here and then hit you can hit adjust click on the picture and then do pretty much exactly the same things in this one sometimes I'll increase on the before picture the sharpness and the grain um, I don't think it gives you the option to do the, the the pop on this one but you can do the saturation sharpen and grain and that'll uh, that'll do the same job there really good app then when it comes to actually posting the picture I think it's very important based on my experience of scrolling through Facebook and seeing sponsored posts where people have paid money to boost their posts um, you see a lot of before pictures and you don't actually see the after picture on the banner on the sponsored banner you've got three pictures and then it says like plus seven where you have to click on it and then scroll to the bottom to see the afters um, you want it to be as upfront as possible especially if you're paying to boost these posts so when you're uploading multiple images you want to do before after before after before after so you get that instant sort of hit of dopamine um, I'll do like a little description here some I used to put things like um, say for example this is Bromsgrove um, I, I used to put stuff like that and it didn't grab as much attention I could see the engagement at the bottom of the post um, and I found that if you put like a little backstory behind it instead um, it grabs a lot more people and, and you get more clicks on your post so if you put something like um, this driveway hasn't been cleaned for over 10 years or, or whatever and actually make sure it's true because as you just lie in then or um, uh, this one was a tough one in this sort of heat or I had to use uh, very strong chemicals to pull up the black spots on this one but it came out well customers happy put like a, a short just just something to make it the post look more interesting and then uh, before I post that I'm gonna click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner and I've linked this to my whatsapp account I've got a whatsapp business account I think you can do it with a standard account as well um, but at the bottom there it says get whatsapp messages so I'm gonna click on that and then that puts the little banner across the bottom so anyone new seeing this post especially if you're gonna boost it or if anyone is visiting your page and you've shared it to, to maybe one of your family members and they've shared it they're gonna instantly get that um, whatsapp banner that's gonna create a template for them to send you a text I've had so much work doing this the way the text comes through it says on there I saw this post on Facebook and then it's got like their question or their contact details underneath so it's like a template for them you can see where your interest is coming from you can see which posts have done well to actually get you leads it's I think it's a really clever integration it's really good and Facebook have just updated their business pages as well so it's, it's just a lot better generally all around and that's all I do that's just a few tips um, I do this to every single one of, one of my jobs and it's very successful if you have a look on my page on on Facebook it's called smelts pressure washing um, you can just get a bit of inspiration if you want to read through and, and have a look at the pictures or whatever. Um, hope it helps. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.